treating disablement as death. And I really hope that uh, he grows this season into right. realising that he's not going to die from this and he's going to have a good life, the life he's going to continue. Just sort of addressing that issue instead of putting down um, some members of our of our society uh, who do have um, these uh, impairments. Uh, I'm trying to say the right words here. You know, that they are... Right. It's, it's part of life. These things happen. Uh, it's not the end of your life, uh, and you can certainly contribute a lot more. How Pike will contribute uh, being on television? That is very we're true. Not sure. Yes, and we should say though, and I and you're right. I I saw that rise up, and I fall into the trap of thinking his fate with the cadets and being in the wheelchair with the beep and one beep or two is death, and it's obviously not death, and he's still able to function. To the point where, you know, Spock tries to take him back to Talos Four at the end to live with the Colossians. Okay. Um, and have even more. But there is a spectrum of impairment. And some people are able to do, um, to, to, to function in life, to do, to fulfill their dreams and their, what they want to do with their life and their abilities. And they're able to do that at different degrees, depending on the degree of their impairment from, uh, you know, whatever ground zero is for that's considered normal. And the rise of technology 